Hi there. I'm here in the borders of Scotland and behind me are the three peaks of the Eildon Hills which the Romans camped around in a place they called Tremontium. But the reason I've stopped here today at this famous viewpoint called Scott's View is because uh, down behind me this kind of green space here that I'm indicating with my hand just above my hand here and the grove of trees beside it was the place where the abbey of Old Melrose stood and this was the abbey which was founded probably by Aidan around uh, just after the year 635 when he came to found Lindisfarne and it's the abbey particularly that St Cuthbert came to. Cuthbert would have been farming or he would have been involved in shepherding sheep in these hills around and the story goes that on the night of 31st of August 651 AD he had a vision of St Aidan's soul being taken to heaven and he saw that as a call on his own life. And so he came here to this particular spot and it's a spot where the, the River Tweed does a huge loop around and uh, it, it encloses this promontory of land and it was on this promontory of land this semi-holy place or this holy place that they um, built the monastery. The monastery was overseen by, uh, by the abbot Eata, but the prior was a man called Boisel or Boswell and Boisel had a prophetic gift and he saw Cuthbert coming to give himself to God and he said behold the servant of the Lord and when he saw him he took him in and, Mo and Boisel became his mentor and was his mentor for the rest of Boisel's life up until the time when Boisel was taken away by plague. He prophesied he would only live a week but that Cuthbert would, uh, would survive the plague and he invested into Cuthbert in even in his last week of life studying St John's Gospel together. And it was here then that Cuthbert spent about 14 years of his life learning how to study, learning how to pray, learning how to praise in this arms of the Tweed in the shadow of the Eildon Hills that represent would have represented to him, no doubt, as to other monks, the, the Trinity, the Father, Son and Spirit. And so just as I'm here in this place, beautiful place, this holy place, this thin place, I just pray that you yourself will know the same Spirit that guided Cuthbert, that guided Boisel, that inspired them that that Holy Spirit will come and inspire you to uh, study for him, to worship him and to tell others about him as Cuthbert went from here all over the country to tell others.